welcome to no physics with me hope all are doing good yes so we have started with a right hand thumb rule and we have discussed it in a separate session then we had a problem discussing right hand thumb rule and today we are going to see another problem which is related to right hand thumb rule and how we are going to solve we are going to see okay so it is a text back uh, text book back question that is in ncrt book grade 10 cbsc book Page number 229, this question is there. Consider a circular loop of wire lying in a plane of table. So, we are going to consider a table. Consider this as a table and we are going to consider a circular wire. Okay, so this is your table and this is your circular wire. You have connections. So, for now, we don't consider any connections. Just we will understand the directions. Okay, yes. Then what is given? Let the current pass through the loop clockwise. So this is our circular loop and the current is passing in this direction. Clockwise means in this direction, right? Yes. Apply the right hand rule to find out the direction of magnetic field inside and outside the loop. So they are asking us to find the direction of magnetic field line inside and outside the loop given the direction of current is clockwise so as we have seen how the magnetic lines of force will be in a circular loop so in this side let us consider the circular loop to be i mean the magnetic lines of force to be like this okay so consider this as your current carrying conductor and clockwise direction your current is acting means obviously like this direction yes or no so your curling will be like this yes or no yes so the curling will be in anti-clockwise direction at every point okay you can draw a enlarged diagram for a clear understanding and now let us consider this side okay so the magnetic lines of force are like this and the direction of magnetic lines of force we will have to draw how will we draw by considering this side your current is facing downwards yes or no is like in this direction so the current is flowing in this direction means your magnetic lines of force direction is like this you can check it out okay Keep a pencil or pen as a current carrying connector. Your direction of current, that is the thumb is pointing downwards, means the direction of magnetic lines of force is like this, which is in clockwise direction. I'm sorry. Like this. Okay. So everywhere it is like this. In clockwise direction. Now, our question is, we have to find in which direction magnetic lines of force is acting inside as well as outside the loop. Inside the loop means here, inside the circular loop we have to consider. Okay? And outside the circular means out part of the loop we have to consider. So, inside the loop, when we see like this, it is going into the, into the table. Okay? Correct? Like this. While representing it this way, it is like going upwards. But actually, like while representing this way, it will be like going inside. Okay. Whereas, outside the loop, it is coming towards or coming out. Okay. So, the answer is inside the loop, the magnetic lines of force is acting inside the table. And outside the loop, it is coming out of the table. Okay. When the direction of current is clockwise. Clear how to solve this? Yes. So once you are clear with this concept, try to find it out by yourself. Try to some, uh, solve some other problem likewise. If you are clear with the concept, if you are able to crack the question, then I am sure you can easily score marks on this. Okay? Yes.